Mike. Yes, sir. Dick Russell called me, and I told him, uh, he said that he uh, wanted to offer his substitute, but you talked to him about this tabling, yes. that he thought that I was making a terrific mistake by agreeing to that because he thought that uh, there would be doubt left as to my authority, and it would be an open sore and be coming up the full ride from the doves all the way through. I told him I didn't think so, that I would favor uh, let Morris make his case and try to rescind it, and then, uh, without uh, uh, hurting anybody or getting personal, get up and make a statement that the questions, whether you want to rescind it or whether you don't, and there's direct vote on it, can be had by tabling. And, uh, but I, I sure don't want uh, the motion to table to imply that any dilution of that resolution, because if it does, uh, I'm in a hell of a shape as a head of the commander-in-chief and with other nations, too. I don't uh, think that it would in any way. Well, it will unless you make a case for it when you make the motion to table or get somebody to do it, either make Russell or, or somebody say, here's what the authority of this resolution is. Now, Morris wants to take that away. Now, our position is that we're not going to take it away because if we leave me in doubt there, whether I have authority or not, hell, I, I'd rather turn the authority over to Fulbright. Uh, I've got to know what authority I have, and I believe I have unquestioned authority as Commander-in-Chief. Uh, 162 cases, according to the Attorney General. Well, and they, without the resolution. Without the resolution. With yeah. the resolution, I've got, to, I've, I, I've, I've got them in there with me. But is this motion to table in any way in the light of what they said diluting it? Now, if it does, uh, I'm against it. No. I think it ought to be, case ought to be made that Morris wants to rescind it, and we're not going to rescind it, and thereby, by not rescinding it, it stays just as it is. That's right. And that we want the, every dictator in the world to know. We don't want Peking. Uh, the case uh, is made, Mr. President, without even saying a word. Well, no, I don't agree. two or three votes. I don't agree with it without saying a word. I think it ought to be in that record for that roll call. And uh, that's the case he makes. And I, I'm far tabling it, and I don't want to rub anybody's nose in it like he does with Nelson and the rest of it. Yeah. But I do think it ought to say, Morris wants to repeal this. Now, we're not going to repeal it. I'm going to move the table. If you want to repeal it, you vote for Morris. But if you want to s leave it just as it is, with all the authority that it contains, why, you vote the table. If you don't, why, you go on and vote for Morris. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, I, do, I just don't want some, some would-be fellow that's waiting to see what to do, depending on the Senate, to misinterpret this. Because uh, I know what happened to us in a couple of wars by, by their misjudging our intentions. Now, I'm, I'm controlling this thing just as carefully as a human can. I'm watching it just as much, but I cannot have them in doubt about uh, my ability as Commander-in-Chief. No, but you had that ability, you had that, uh, that, uh, that responsibility and authority even without a resolution. I agree with it, but all the, oh. all the play, Mike, all the editorial is what's going to be done in the Senate? What's this group of 20 or 30 or 40 senators? Are they going to take away authority? Are they going to hold it back? And uh, they may interpret this, and they, the propaganda in all the morning papers is that they, they've kind of agreed, and they... Uh, so I think that when we make a motion to table, please see that someone points up the fact that this leaves the president without a bit of this authority changed or diluted. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. President. Thank you, Mike. Yes, sir.